Just so me and we just talking, discussing, um, pretty much anyone in here. I want to know y'all problems when we wake up now. What problems have you been having as far as getting people to want to sign up to your business? And how did you actually um, try to fix it? Failure or win, it doesn't really matter. Anyone? Sure, let's go. I guess uh, one particular problem I've been having is just that like, it feels like I'm targeting the wrong type of people because all the people that I approach about it, it's like I have flyers made up and, uh, you know, like with, diff with the different uh, links to go to check out your videos and everything. So you got people, they're like, oh, okay. So you check them later, it's like, nah, you check out the video yet. <laughs> or just uh, you, one person in particular, I was telling them about Wake Up Now and then they were talking to somebody else about it and that particular person, they didn't like their, they didn't like the way they were talking to them about it. So when I was talking about it, I was like, nah, I don't want to do that, nah, whatever. So I was just wanting to know, like, uh, like um, when you're trying to uh, get people, because I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating getting my signups and everything. So like, one reason I talk to you, he was like, hey, you know, just talk about life. Don't try to solicit the people offhand. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, shh, I need some, I need some silence. <laughs> I'm like, now, nah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just enthusiastic. Like yeah, that, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what I'm saying, what's the best technique in so far as trying to, you know, you know, like, uh, trying to be cool, but at the same time, still trying to bring them in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I get exactly where you're at right now, man. This is one of those situations where. You know, if people, certain people start to think, okay, at the end of the month, if I don't have this quota met, then I'm going to have to pay or, or whatever situation. If you sit back and really think about, you know, how basic this is, just sharing your experience, then it's, it's, it stops becoming so difficult. Like, if you're trying to hurry up and get this person before this day, when you're talking to somebody, they feel the pressure. You know, like, um, when, when I go, like, the example that we, just, we was just doing this the other day is kind of crazy, but um, me, me, Brandon, who, who else, was, you Joe was there as well, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. We were playing rock, paper, scissors with people. Okay. And we, um, the example, the, I, the, the situation we came up with on the spot was Brandon is a professional rock, paper, scissors player, and he traveled all over the world playing rock, paper, scissors with these people, and he get paid for that professionally. Now that sounds ridiculous, I know, but we was just trying to show the simplicity of connecting with people. And the, the, we was at Hooters when we came up with this um, crazy scenario, and I had the camera that Matt is holding right now, so it almost seemed as if we were doing something serious. So he told him, look, we, I'm a professional rock, paper, scissors player, that's what I do, blah, 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 and of course he was serious, you know, we was trying not to laugh, and she was like, no you ain't, whatever, I don't want to hear that. And I said, he seriously, he is. You know, he wanted Tron, playing with rock, paper, scissors. So we had her at her job. Yeah, he went to Tron. Huh? Tron. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she, we had her at her job, playing rock, paper, scissors with Brandon. After she finished playing, are you serious? He really did beat me. She ran away, went to go get another waitress and said, try him. He's a professional. <laughs> and she was playing rock, paper, scissors with Brandon as well. After we finished playing rock, paper, scissors with him, as crazy as that sound, he took their Instagrams down and we connected with him. Now, being that we connected with him, the way we did is totally irrelevant to Wake Up Now. But they got nothing to do with Wake Up Now, but we set it up to where she still don't know what he do and we got some type of connection. So if he decided to hit her up and have a real genuine conversation with her, he just built a certain relationship that she not gonna forget. I just told you what we do for a living. Well, you already know what I do. I'm a professional paper scissors rock player. So me and her are tied up. This is the final round. Two, two for three. Two for three. She's really a champ. She, uh, nah, I beat her this guy. Just let you know, I beat her already in this paper scissors rock. No, uh, that was a practice. That was practice. Okay, well, this is all, this is the, this is the final round. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> paper scissors rock. Paper scissors rock. I'm the champion. I'm the champion. World world class champion. World champ. I'm the man. But but runner up though. Runner up. She came second place. Yeah. How am I doing this around then? That's my prize. Yep. Follow on Instagram. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> His Instagram name is I Always Pick Rock. Really? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, it's Maya Business. Maya Business. You have your own business? I do. What do you do? It's kind of kind of twist to it because I actually have a business, but it's really like Maya Business. But it's Maya Business.
I have, I have my own eyelash line. Strong seal. No, no seal. It's going to take this off. Paper, scissors. Are you ready? Oh, we're supposed to go You don't mind? Do you mind? Okay. okay. I just beat her. <laughs> So she brought her friend to try to beat me and my professor. Does everyone know I'm professional um pictures rock? I've done this all around the world in Germany, Italy. Just got back from the bottom of my entourage here. Um got to kill Frostman behind the camera, my manager. Yeah, then you already know. We're gonna do the best two out of three. Let's go. She, she runner up. You did you did better than some professionals. Yeah, you did. Time on set, wait, ready? Set. Got that one, That's one round. One Congratulations. Round. Actually, that, that would have been a millisecond. Oh. Uh, no, no, we're not going to go off the Oh. We're not going to take the best. She was off for the time. She was off for the time. We're going to let it count. We're going to let it count. Uh, I don't know, man. You, you, you're the champ, bro. We're playing by the rules. Does it count, Chase? One, one, two, does it count, Chase? Okay. <laughs> does it count? Okay. Does it count? Okay. Does it count? Does it count? Does it count? You, you got, you got, it's, we reg, it's very regulated. See, right now you're in the business to qualify people. That's all you're trying to do is qualify every single person on your team. Once you get a mentality where you don't need everybody, you can close so many more people because now you're not thirsty for the sign. You're giving off the energy that you need these people. That's all you're giving off, and they can feel that. And you probably don't realize you're giving off the energy. So now you're wondering, why aren't they signing up with me? You're, instead, of, don't think about the membership fee. Just think about where you're going to take your business, regardless of how long it's going to take you. Just know you're going to get there, and you, you, you can dis, now you can start disqualifying up five people. Are you worth being on my team? I'm not going to just let anyone on my team. And like Cavario, like me and Cavario was talking about Shaquille, have a discussion about Wickham Down without well, mentioning Wickham Down once. And I, I, Kavario, you can kind of talk about that a little bit. He does yeah. a lot. I mean, the, uh, the, the whole approach, man, is to, one, you really are trying to find out what this person is actually qualified to be an asset to your team, first and foremost. You can't think of people as $100, because it's obvious about more than $100, right? You're thinking about a long-term relationship that's going to be conducive to a positive flow of uh, continuing you know, income, right? So you, you approach a person and you're really trying to feel them out for whether or not they're interested in having a secure financial future. You, know? you don't have to talk to them about Wake Up Now because you're not selling them anything. You're presenting them with an opportunity. So if you're going to present with an opportunity, you have to first make a determination about whether they are prepared for an opportunity or even worthy of an opportunity. Mm -hmm. you know? And what it is, what is it that makes it makes you enthusiastic? You, you expressed enthusiasm a moment ago. What makes you enthusiastic about this opportunity? Well, it's just uh, like you say, uh, being able to uh, have a residual, a residual income. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have my own little business and everything like that. But I also understand that um, that you know, if you're having just one source of income, anything can happen in this particular business where it's like, it's more or less like a job because I'm working, you know what I'm saying, because I'm the one that's putting in all the efforts to make this business work. So, any of the that's efforts That's why it's not working, you know. Right. I, I already so, told you this. So now, if you have something else, you know what I'm saying, kind of back you up, it's sort of like now, you know what I'm saying, now you have more uh, time to devote to any other thing else that, you know what I'm saying, all you have, you know, you have more time to uh, invest in the business that you have to where it's, you're not putting in all the energy yourself. Now you can, uh, now you have some other type of income where you can uh, pay off all your bills and then invest in that business to make it grow bigger and all that kind of thing. All right, so, um, you know, you you just went into an explanation, kind of a, almost a, a pitch kind of thing just now. You didn't say wake up now one time. Just now. You just spoke about an opportunity you can, I asked you what made you enthusiastic about this opportunity. You're telling me that the, when you realized that this was a situation that could actually provide you with not just the resources, but free you up as it provides you with resources to do something with the resources that would be helpful for you in the other endeavors. If you find people who can appreciate that, then it won't be difficult for you to help them understand this opportunity and bring them on board. That's who you want to bring aboard. Infect people with your enthusiasm. You know, tell them about your feelings about this opportunity and about you know how it is helpful to you. And 
you you it's you're sharing your consumer experience. I mean that's what you're doing. You you are you are a distributor for this this company. You're an independent business owner. You, you know that your business is distribution. It's the distribution of your consumer experience. You have you have to understand what it is that you're doing with with this opportunity. If you don't, then you'll be like the person that, that infected the person with the misunderstanding before you got to them. You know, you'll be telling them something that they're not able to relate to, and then they've already made a decision about something they don't even know anything about. You know, you want a person that has been already introduced to it, however they've been introduced to it, you want them to be like, you know, somebody told me about this before, man, but they didn't make it make this much sense before, man. Yeah. I want to deal with you. I've gotten that several times. Exactly. I love when people say they heard about it before. Okay. You know, but I'll know that they've heard about it before when they say, I've heard about it before. Or is this wake, this is, is this wake up now? Because I won't say wake up now at all. I won't say wake up now at all. I'll just tell them that I'm dealing with this new businessman and it's really given me some opportunities to fulfill some, uh, some desires that I've had to, you know, infuse some new, some new income into my, my life, my overall situation. You know, most people that know me know I'm a publisher, they know I'm a writer, know I'm a journalist, know I'm an editor, they know I do these things. So they understand that I, I invest a lot of time and energy into my businesses, into my endeavors. So for me to be able to go into another business, I'm only one person. How, how many more businesses can I handle? So that, that makes them curious. But I won't say what it is. This other business is just letting me really free up myself, free my time up, man, and still it's generating money for me and it's, it's feeding my, my situation financially so that my other endeavors can, can flourish. And I'll keep on referring to how good it is and how conducive it is to my positive cash flow until they say, man, what is it? What is this business you're talking about? But I never, ever, ever said, you have to, you have to fuel their enthusiasm. You have to, you have to pique their interest, you know? And, and that's really what it is. But you're not selling anything. You have to get it in your mind. You're not selling anything. Well, if you're trying to sell something, automatically you come out, this is the opportunity, your guard is up. Yep. But if you have a conversation with someone like him, like he's doing people, their guard is let down and they're going to get all the information without any type of negativity. But when you t and you got to do this and you're, you're so thirsty for the sign, they're going to be like, okay, I'm listening, but all you're doing is talking to a brick wall. Yeah. Right? You see those cross stones? When you see those cross stones, it's a brick wall. <laughs> back, up, back up on cross stones. Right now, you can't, you got to think about long term, man. If you, all you're doing is talking to someone and you, you want that sign right now. It's gonna come off like you want that sound right now, and you need them. No, they need me. You can't join. You gotta. You gotta qualify to be on my team. People wanna join my team every day, but if you sound crazy, you're not gonna be on my team because this is my business. And you gotta start realizing this is your business right now. You have a business. Would you let anyone just work for you? No. So why would you let anyone in your wake up now business? You gotta treat it like a business. And once you develop the the mindset that hey, this is really a business, you start to approach it differently. And that's, and that's what a lot of people don't they, they don't, they don't view it in the appropriate manner. If you treat it like it's just one of those sign-up thingies, then it's going to pay you like one of them sign-up thingies. You find an opportunity like this nowhere. And, and, and every, I hope everybody in here know that. That's the reason why you signed up. So with that being said, if you really, if you really treat it that way and you, and you give that vibe off when you talk to people, it would be a completely different conversation. You know, the, 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 the $100 fee that you got to pay month to month, that's minimum considering what, 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 what we have to offer. So trying to meet a certain deadline, trying to meet a certain quota, I'm not saying don't have goals, but don't try to treat it like if I don't make this, huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't let your goal be free. Right. In a month. Right. Like, man, I don't know what I'm going to do if I don't, nah. Nah. We you can't dedicate $100 a month, even $300 a month to your life every month, and that's why you're in that situation now. Right. True enough. Any more? Let's go move on though. Um, any more questions? Anything else that anyone's had like a problem with as far as um, pretty much just getting this business started or anything that's worked for it for y'all? I know a lot of people have been successful. Like, what about you, man? You quiet? I know this, your team, both of y'all, man. What's worked for y'all? I know y'all killing it right now. Well, we've been passing out flyers, um, and going out and actually talking to people one on one, like like y'all said, having a conversation, trying to build a relationship with people. Um, I even have a conversation with somebody today. Um, just tell him about some of the benefits, and he said, "Oh, you must be in wake up now." And like, like he said, just have a relationship, try to build a relationship with him, and that's been working for me. Um, passing out flyers, posting on Facebook the right things to post. Don't just say, "Hey, you want to make six hundred dollars?" 
you know, tell a little bit about the benefits, tell them how you like it, and uh, be a product of the product, like uh, Shaq said before. Okay, that's that's dope stuff, and he, he said something that's very important, um, and I, I really want to um, co-sign what he was saying. He said he was going out passing out flyers. Now, I'm not saying everybody, hey, go get some flyers and pass them out, because that may not be a cup of tea, but I do want to stress this, because this is something that I don't really see many people doing. Leaving statuses, marketing yourself on Facebook, that's cool. Hiding behind a computer will not be enough to build a business. Now, I know you see me tech, a lot of bread, a whole bunch of people posting excellent statuses and get a lot of shares and get a lot of likes. And that may make you think, hmm, they must be getting a lot of signups from these statuses, so let me leave a lot of statuses too. If you're not hitting the ground, if you're not, if you're not out here connecting with people, People is not going to fall all over you to sign up with you. So you really, really have to get out here. Like, um, we, we, we canceled a few meetings um, last past week or so. And people were dying. Literally dying. Like, yo, if you cancel one more meeting. <laughs> like, I was getting blown up. Y'all don't understand. But it's, it's, it's a good and bad thing at the same time. It's good that, you, you know, everybody wants productivity going on, but it's bad that everybody is so dependent on on me. At the end of the day, everybody is independent business owners here. And you know what? At the end of the day, if you don't take control of your business, then how do you expect it to really pay you like my business do? You see, like, like people want to be like, wait till I get to your level. I'm, I'm going to hit that rank. I'm going to hit that rank. Right way. But nobody want to take, you know, nobody want to take action. Nobody want to take control of their business. Nobody want to be Y'all good? Yeah, good. <laughs> nobody want to be um, that guy. Nobody set up conference calls for their team. Nobody set their own team meetings. That's necessary. Like, I got a few, a lot of downlines that got uplines that's very productive, but they're not connected with them. That's very problematic, guys. Y'all have to take complete control of your business. If you open up a business today, you, you should know every aspect of it or have some, some type of system where you know what's going on at your, in your business. So, I mean, just hiding behind Facebook ain't going to do it. I, I, let me say what stuck out for me. Um, when he said, he said he builds a relationship, that was what you were doing wrong as far as y'all both passing out flyers, but you weren't trying to get a relationship. You just wanted to sign it. He was building a relationship. Sometimes you know you're not going to get someone right then and there. But you can build that relationship with them where they're gonna sign up with you in the long run. And you wanna you wanna get someone when they're ready. Right. You don't wanna you don't wanna force someone because you force them when they're not ready, they're not gonna do what they want to do in the first place. And that they're, they're not gonna be productive because you force them into this opportunity. Get people when they're ready, just build that relationship with people, talk to people, you're gonna realize how many good people there are in the world, how many people that you're missing out on because you didn't want to build, establish that relationship with them. And um that, that really stuck out with me. That's what where I can do, like an F3, you get then like a month, right? Yeah. Awesome. And that, it, only, it only takes three guys. That's all. It takes three. A lot of people, I'm, I'm going to teach y'all something. Like the PS3 system, the, the peak interest, share video, through a call, a lot of y'all do that, right? A lot of y'all mess up on that second step. You can, well, a lot of y'all mess up on the first step, peak interest, because y'all don't know how to force a lead. When I say force a lead, mean that who's got, who, if you got a long status talking about every single benefit, 600 to $114,000 a month, blah, 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 how, why would anyone want to inbox you? You told them everything. There's no point. What's the point of me? I force people to inbox me because they have no idea, like he said, what I do. So I'm forcing you to want to know what I do. I mean, yeah, man, my team's winning. Let's get it. You know, my everyone, you know, you can talk about my, and as far as your team base. Like, man, oh, yeah, man, my whole team winning, man. I can't wait to pay day. Something simple. Not going to make $600 a month. I mean, I just three people out, say 20% off an AT&T bill. Just talk about different things that you've done to where they're going to want to know how did you do that because they're going to want to be a part of whatever culture you got. And then after you, after you get that interest, you got to share a video. Now the problem with people who can actually peak interest, they might not know how to share a video because they share the same video for every single person. But every individual is different. I'm going to teach y'all some colors. Blue is fun. That's a fun personality, meaning that they don't care anything about all the details. They don't want to know how much work they got. They just want to know how can they party more without going to work. So I would show them Chiana and Chan's video because they are going on vacation. They're talking about the waking opportunity. They're more just having fun. It's like a it's crazy culture. But someone who's green, that means they're real analytical. They want to know all the details. They're not going to want to watch no person partying and, and driving and stunting on people. That does not interest them. They want to know all the details. How can we get it? And how can those are the people you want on your team also? 
but you can't show them their own video. So you want to show them a presentation type of video, like Brandon Boy or Key Amber or Daryl YG's video. And then we have the um, the the red. That's me. The money motivated, the driven. Let's get it. I don't need a detailed video. I don't need a for fun video. I just need give, give me all the facts to the point, very quick. I made a seven minute video called Brandon Explains. Welcome down in seven minutes. I explained in seven minutes. It's enough to, for some. I made it because I know what I like. So if you see a person that like me, you're showing that video. But you want to show someone who needs details if someone wants to party that video. You show someone who's like money motivated, who's just driven already. Let's give it. I want, I want to know how I got it. In seven minutes, okay, I got it. Let's go. I'll learn as I go. Because people like me, we don't want to know about this. We're going to learn as we go. And then we got the, the yellows. The yellows are they're, they're, they're relationship type of people. They don't care about money. They care about how they can network with people and get to know people and how they can help others. So you can show people like a... Um, just a I can make a present, not the presentation video, the detail video, but like something that's back behind, like Wake Up Now's presentation video, which shows all the things. Then you just have to talk to these people, talk about how you've been able to help people with these benefits, talk about how you've helped put money in these people's pockets, talk about the culture you've been around people like, man, I've, I've been more happy in this company because I've been around people who are like minded. And I'm building like relationships with these people, and I've been able to help people who have a father, like a father figure whose child has cancer. And now, his story has driven him to wake up now and do this and just talk about different people's wives. Your why is going to get a yellow person to join. Not the presentation. This is going to get them interested in wanting to know more on how it's changed people's lives. So you got to know who you're talking to, talking to people when you're showing people these videos. If you can't show the same person every single video, you got to know how to talk to people. It's going to take time. Like if it's a business that you want to succeed in, then it's, you're going to willing to actually grow in this business. And this is something you can't just learn overnight. You got to do this. But in the end of the day, is it worth it? And when someone tells you no, if your why is stronger than someone's no, you're going to never quit this company. Ain't no one going to tell me I can't do this in this company. Ain't no one going to tell me why I shouldn't do this. Because I know exactly that this business works because we've seen it. I know why I want it to work. I don't care if you want to party, you don't want to work, you got a child, you got something. People with children should be the richest, richest people in this room. Because your why is stronger than anyone else's. You want, to, you want to bury your child's life. At least I hope that's why your why is. At least one of the why's. So create that why. The reason people join me in Secure, we do these presentations. But everyone doesn't seem as interested until we get into our why. And then everyone's like, yeah, yeah, they're, they're ready to go. They start smiling and all that good stuff. And that's what makes them join. But you can't skip that. You can't skip anything. You got to educate these people. Then you got to talk about the, um, the benefits. But don't talk about the money. You're talking about the benefits. We're talking about the benefits and, and, and all that stuff. Then you can talk about the culture. And then you can talk about, yeah, you know, you can make money in this too. Talk about the um, you can talk about the money aspect and the team bill and your why. Why do you do the business? Why? Because the benefits help you. Maybe why? Because you need the money. Why? Because you know this makes sense. Whatever your why is, I don't know what your why is. Everyone has their own why. That's what makes everyone different. And when you find those people you can connect with, they'll never leave your business. And another thing, I got another thing to talk about. Um, this is not a sign up game. This is a duplication game. When you get three people, you should not inbox me and ask me what do I do next. You know what you do next. You coach those people. You come in as a player. And then you come, you leave as a coach, meaning that now you got those three people. You don't your focus is not to get to get um, nine more people. Your focus is to help those three get their three. And you create that. Think about it. You get twelve people by yourself and you ain't coach none of them. What is twelve gonna do? It's not gonna duplicate. If you get three people and you teach them to do the same thing. That's gonna turn to um to twelve anyway. Only difference is those people gonna train those people because you taught them that way, and that's gonna duplicate to twenty four to fifty to one hundred. And that's how you pop ranks. You don't pop ranks for signing up a lot of people. You pop ranks from coaching the right people, quality people. Sometimes people don't quit, but you got to have the mentality where they won't qualify to get my team if you did your job, your due diligence. If someone quit and you wasn't there for them, you can only blame yourself. But if they quit and you did everything you could, then you can blame them. Say they won't qualify for this business, it's cool. And after we, I'm going to go into some more training later on about how to build your GV, but um, anyone got any more questions? Like anything they might have done for their business? I was just going to add something to that, right? Like I know... Um when I'm talking to my team, like I know I've only been in a month and whatnot, right? Yeah. But I'll be breaking it down, like to me a sales presentation is clarify, verify, testify, get in the bar, right? So it's like when you run through those four steps, you're not going to leave no stone unturned. Repeat. But I don't think that's what somebody needs to do. It's clarify, verify, testify, get them to buy. But when you are dealing with a new one member, I don't tell my team to do no talking. I tell them to look up, explain. I tell them to look up, inform and then ball it up and throw it in the trash. And then look up the word intrigue, because this is seduction. What's the purpose of lingerie? To cover up the good parts. You don't show them everything right away. If you show them everything right away, this is no longer sexy, this is now sort of slutty, right? So my whole point is that this isn't a one night stand, this is an engagement. Everybody that's on my team told me no at least three or four times. 
So it's like if you're going into it and you just think they're going to tell you and, and they're just going to come up to you and be like, oh, yeah, man, run it. Nine times out of ten, like someone I was just not talking about, that's the person that's going to quit the quickest. You know what I mean? Easy come, easy go. And this is a cop and blow game. What you want to deal with is people that understand, but first you got to make them understand that like, see, it doesn't matter. This is just a vehicle. The lady that works at Victoria's Secret do not love Miss Vicky. It's just a vehicle for her to get to some food because she likes to eat. She heard if she eats, she'll continue to be able to breathe. And same thing with this. Our whole thing is that we're just pushing a vehicle. What do they want to know from you as a member? They just want to know you a good driver. Once you can show them you a good driver and that you going somewhere where you could drop them off on the way, they all in. But you do not want to be explaining nothing. You don't want to be informing nobody. And I get that I'm new, but I never... I, that Shaquille said something to me, I think Brandon said it too, that like, yo, Hazi, you can obviously close people on your own, but you never miss a meeting. That's because, and I'm trying to share this with my team, and then if God is good, they'll understand one day, right? I am not telling y'all to get somebody else on the phone because I'm better than you at explaining it, or that I know how to do it on, on a different level. I'm telling you to get somebody else on the phone because if you don't, they're going to think they got to do it by themselves. It's a subconscious thing you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. If you do it all by yourself, they're going to be like, oh, but that's Kim. She's a real estate. You're supposed to be a, oh, that's Kabak, but I can't do it. No, you got to pull somebody in, and maybe it's better if they worse than you, because now it's clicking for them. They're like, oh, damn, they are a unit. Okay. So that's all. Awesome. And that's, uh, this, this game is all psychological. Like you were saying, like I said, the PS3 system, I forgot the last part. It's the peak interest show video. Three way call. Three way call. Three way call is not, it is for the close. I'm not sure if you're a good closer or not, but if you're a good closer, regardless, it's psychological. It's going to show that, hey, I don't have to talk on the phone. All I, I got to point in the right direction. Right. That's all you got. If you can, if you can show them that, but hey, this is all you got to do is point them in the right direction. Just get their interest, show them the video, and point them in the right direction. And they're going to be like, oh, that's all I got to do? That's simple. But if, you, if you're doing all the talking, about this, okay, I got my answer, answer but I can't remember all that myself. I'm not interested. Or I'm thinking about it. You never hear from him again. Well, well um, I, think, I think a good example of, of what he's talking about is when me and Brandon first started, a lot of people don't really know this, but we didn't, we didn't have leaders or people we can, you know, three-way call or have income proof and all of that. You know, it was just me and him with this idea. And one of the things we used to do was, um, we used to jump on Facebook, like, um, cause we, I made it to F on Facebook, like, and he made it, what, it was F5, F6, on, on, online. F7. And, <laughs> yeah, he was crazy. <laughs> but one of the things we used to do was I would be conversing with somebody, or somebody inbox me, and I, I, even though I knew how to explain it, cause we came up with the explanation together, I would, I would say, I would praise Brandon and put him in the chat with me. And say, yo, this dude right here has been killing it, whatever, whatever. He he probably got four or five more signs than I do. This is the beginning. You know, so I just praised him. He get in the chat and he started explaining it the same exact way. I mean, I promise we had a copy yeah, and paste script. We had a copy and paste script. So it was just like pasting it. And then like, like it, it got so dramatic where he would actually paste pieces of it so it don't seem like he copied and pasted. <laughs> like, I'm just like, yeah, I know it's about to come next. And they didn't know that. They think we really have this conversation with them. And then Brandon, my upline, used to praise me and put me in the chat with him. Yeah. Yo, this dude right here been killing it. Yo, he won't tell me about it. Check him out. And let me tell him what happened after we did that. We didn't know what it was doing. We really didn't. We know. didn't know. We, like, we were just doing because we just, we just, hey, it seemed like it seemed like a good idea. Right. I mean, guess what? The people we got on did the same thing. Yeah. That's all. They, we didn't tell them to do it. They just said, hey, I, I, I got someone in the chat. I'm going to the chat. They praised us. And we just right. kept doing that. We blew ranks all the way up to like F6, F7. Bro, he got all the way down. I got the Final Four. <laughs> I had to get off. You got the Final Five. You got the Final Five. No, no, no. Diamond got us the, me the Final Five. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, that's what we started the meeting. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't do it all on Facebook, guys. <laughs> Far from. But that's just one of those things. Like, I put, we put more thought in it than just leaving the stats. We, I mean, we had strategy. We, I mean, a lot. I know people look at what we do. Hey, they believe in statuses, hmm, and they try to. They, they, they see. They just look at what we do. They don't know everything we do. But I'm telling you, there's no short because this business is not going to fall in your lap. You have to get out here and do it. I don't know why I got. I don't know why I keep stressing this, but I feel like it needs to be stressed because people think that I'm, I'm in it. I'm leaving statuses. Work. And that's not, that's not, that's not what's going on. I, I seen these guys right here killing it. 
pranking up like I know they're gonna hit prank soon. But I, every time I hang around, I see him on the phone. I see him online. I see him talking to this person when we go out. Hey, this guy right here, I'm gonna introduce you to him. He do this, he do that, he do that. Every time I'm with him, it's just not one thing. They trying to do business. And that's the reason why they're ranking up. That's that's the reason why they're ranking up. So, I mean, if you want to rank up, I mean, you should. You, 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 you want to make money now or later. Right. I mean, because that's what it all comes down to. You, I mean, half of half you guys are meeting for the first time. I mean, we probably chat, we probably did this, but it haven't been one of those things like, yo, this is what I got going on. Can you come through? Can we do this? You didn't make it to the boat now? You didn't do that? You didn't do that? I mean, you're you missing out on your business because we providing resources. And, and it's a bunch of ways that you're missing out, right? Because what y'all got to uh, remember about this company that we've joined is that you max out at only three people. So if you don't do this at no other job you've ever had in your life, or like you, you want to be polying with the people above you because they in position to help you. They already got their three people. So you want to be making all the friends you can because that's who can help you out. Because you never know when they're going to have an extra person that just want to shout you out. If that's your upline. You don't just use a person that sponsored you. You use your whole upline. Mm -hmm. Powerful stuff, guys. Stop being lazy. I got another one. Um, consistency. One minute y'all in, in the business, and the next minute you got baby mama drama, or or someone you mad, you you showing it all on Facebook in front of your friends. You want to know? I was, when I was with them now, I was going through some things, but no one knew. <laughs> no one knew. All they know is Brandon's the man. I came from another company into Wake Up Now. I did horrible in that company. But everyone joined the Wake Up Now is because they thought that I was the man in that company. They, I didn't have to claim any kind of income. They assumed, they wanted to assume. Right. Because I was consistent in everything I did. I was always speaking success. I was always happy. I was always shouting my team out. I made my team more important than me. And I always talk about, man, you're not successful unless your team is successful. They made them want to be a part of my team. It's not, it's not, it's not really hard. Like we're not trying to pitch you guys and make you guys feel like, hey, keep doing this, keep doing it, never quit, never quit. No, make profit. Make money. Progress. It's not really that. It's not, it's not far. And it's not one of those opportunities where I gotta keep giving you a motivational speech and hope you stay so I can keep making money off you. I'm trying to tell you to go make money. Get your because team you paid. Can, you, can, you can change the results you're getting in the moment. No, he did it in 30 days. He did it, he did it in a week. <laughs> he, I mean, come on. This is not one of those things where I gotta keep fueling you and hope you keep going. No, I'm telling you, get paid and then get your team paid. No, we don't look. We don't look to motivate people. We look to no, motivate people. Not at all. I'm not here to. I'm not here to motivate you. Motiv motivation is like makeup. You gotta keep reapplying it. And I'm not trying to, keep, to motivate nobody. I hope you came here motivated, and you you come here to get educated. Okay. And that's y'all. Y'all actually doing a good job. The fact that y'all here says a lot. Right. And that says a lot. And I, I'm I'm really happy that everyone's here because I really want to see everyone win this company because our success story is already printed into the history. Y'all success stories is what's gonna make us all rank up together because now we got multiple pe people making money. Get your team paid. When you get someone into this business, be there for them. Make sure they're gonna get their three. If you get someone that three in that first week, that's gonna make them want to appreciate you forever. And then teach them to do the same thing. And now you, you hit F3, it's that simple. Right now, you get someone to, if you do your own home events, and you say, hey, we're gonna have it three times a week, I don't care if no one shows up, either it's just your team like this. And say, all of y'all, right now, next week, we got the same time at 8 o'clock. Bring two or three people. What's going to happen? If, you two, if all of y'all bring two or three people, you know how many people our team going to grow up? And then we're going to tell y'all, our team do the same thing. Diamond. She's the first time we did the home event. She brought 10 people. Our, we told them, they came in skeptical, came out motivated, and we told them to do the same thing. And she had like 100 people in like one month, or one, two months. That quick. <laughs> easy, man. This is so easy. When you overcomplicate it for your team, your team's going to grow complicated. When you keep it simple, your team's gonna keep it simple. That's all you gotta do. This, this thing is hard, it's not hard. I'm not gonna say it's easy, but it's simple. Man, if you don't stay, stay, you don't stay consistent, you don't, you're not there for your team, you treat it as a sign-up game instead of a duplication game, because it is a game, but I treat it as a duplication game. I wanna see how much can I get my team to duplicate right. what I just did. That's success. Right, and you know what, I, man, I don't think y'all understand how crazy this opportunity is. I was like, well now, it was only like 10 people. Like 10 yeah. million short of F7. It's like five, five extra green. Yeah. I was 10 people short of F7 last month and I still made a video excited as I don't know what. Like, yo, my team just ranked up. I got a few members on my team ranked up, yo. They killing it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not no fool. I would I would have liked to rank up. But that's not that's not the reason why I get up every day and go hard. I go hard so y'all can rank up. 
You know, me ranking y'all up ranks me up. So my only motivation is to make sure you get it. So that's what it all comes down to. And that's how you got to treat your team. I know Shay, he got me early. He's like, yo, my team going to be wherever this meeting going down. And that's the attitude he got. And that's the attitude everybody should have when it comes to your team. I'm telling you this right now. When you take your t when your team is your priority, then it changes everything. You know, like sometimes I get up and I don't feel like grinding. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't feel like I'm, I'm lazy today. But then somebody on my team called me that's trying to hit F3. And he hungry, so how can I deny him today? I need to put in work. So at the end of the day, you have to, you got to put it in your head that you're not grinding just for you. Even if you got one person on your team, even if you don't got nobody on your team, you should be grinding for the team anyway. Because when we're when we moving as a unit, I promise you it changes everything. I think, I think the second he started, I gave him a person directly on him just because I knew the type of person he was when he signed up. He signed up thinking about the team from the jump. Messaged me talking to him, yo, yo man, I'm, I'm on the team. I was in the Bahamas, didn't have a signal. I didn't even have a signal. And he, he sent me an email saying, hey, I, I want to join. So I sent him my link. He said, bro, sorry, I'm already signed up, bro. I don't even need it. I'm all good. I'm ready to get it for the team. Let's do this, whatever, whatever. I knew he was going to be a team player. So he got a per he got a team under you. I gave him a person. They had a person already in front of my back office. So he had a team starting off oh. just because of that attitude. And just to talk about um, building, this is very important. I, I know everyone knows about, like, once I get my three people, I'm going to help my three get their three. No. 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 That's just creating someone a crutch of a lazy person. You never know who your leader is going to be. I'll talk is talk at the end of the day. So you, you want to know who your leaders are. So what I do, now I'm teaching people this. You want to get your first three. And then after that, you're going to you're gonna build down. I mean, right now, if I got my first three, I'm going to put one person on that person, one person on that person, one person on that person. Now, once I get that point, I'm going to keep going down. So if I, those three people got there each one person, I'm going to give another person one person. And we're going to keep going down. And what that does is now that you're building completely down, let's say everyone, let's say a person quits at the top. It doesn't matter because that per, as long as someone in that team, that leg is producing GV, then you're good. You need 360 GV per leg. Each person produces 90. So that's four times 90 is 360. So as long as you have four people in that leg, so as long as you're building down, now imagine this. You're building down, you still ain't got a leader. You're building down, you still ain't got a leader. You're building down, you still ain't got a leader. Let's say as you're going down, next thing you know, someone kills it like I see. 10,000 volume, right? Now 10,000 volume counts for every single person going up. Now some of them go back, you know what, I need to go, I need to get started. Because they only need to get built two legs. Because you've been building out one leg by going down the entire time. And now you still got that leader. So if everyone up there quit, it's cool. Whatever, because that's my leader. I'm, I'm, I'm following the GV. Right, you don't want to create somebody, you don't want to handicap anybody by giving them free business for no reason. You know what I mean? It's not one of those things where you got on and now you're free because you signed up with me. It's one of those things where I'm willing to support you so you can get there, and that's it. You know, if you give somebody three, they think they made. And that's a shame, especially if they sitting there not doing anything. So so the strategy he implement, it, it, it worked wonders in my business. Like me placing one person under somebody, me placing a person on his team, yo, he became an animal. Made it, yo, I, I, I know you, I know it's real. I know I need to get it. Oh, I'm this close to the next rank? He go hard. That's what it's about. Now if I just gave him three people, oh, I'm free. Okay. That's what's up. And I ain't even do nothing. And the problem is he didn't even connect with those three. So now these three people have no connection to their upline. And now you didn't help you didn't even get to help these three this time. You could have been like this where you help two people, but now you just help one person and he doesn't have no connection to them. So now those three people feeling lonely. He's feeling lazy. And now your whole team is messed up. But now if you did like this, you motivated multiple people. And the people who aren't motivated aren't the right people to be in your business in the first place. Because the fact that you give them one, it's gonna be they should be happy to get one. And want to get there on too. I've had people tell my business, I don't give you no more, man. I'm good, I'm motivated, this is all I needed. Thank you for the support. Let's go. You got a question? Oh, yeah, so um, I'm, new to this, I'm new to this program I work up now. And pretty much what made me join under my Ismar Uplines, Diamond, and Mitch, and if you know Devon Montgomery. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so he's a beast. Yeah. So, um, what made me join, at first I was real skeptical about the company, everything like that. and. I had to do my map. I, I knew all the information about it, and people were still trying to be doing it. But when I met Devon, it was like uh, he explained it better than anybody else. He didn't go with the money; he went with like the benefits, everything like that. So I, it's, he used the specific thing he used against me was the six flags benefit. But I like going to six flags. Okay. So he said pretty much, 
you can go to Six Flags, usually Six Flags tickets cost like fifty dollars, and you can bump that down to like ten dollars. So let me ask you this: Did you tell me like one Six Flags, or he just coincidentally said that? I told him like one Six Flags. See, he just jumped right off of that. Right. And what further what came into it, I started doing my own research, stuff like that, and. Going well, back to what he said, how you bring in to each to each column, to each meeting, and it just builds up. So the way I started in my own head, say I get five personal people I know, and then they go get they go get five people they trust, and that's twenty five. Then that five times twenty five go to one twenty five. Mm -hmm. Now one twenty five times five go to six twenty five. Then on and on to three thousand, fifteen thousand. It's just using a simple number like five, not even using a number like thirty. If they go get more and more people, but it takes time to get trusted people. Yeah, and that's the, that building a, a quality team is the, that's, that's the best team you can grow if you're doing your business. I guarantee people who got a lot of people on their team right now wish they can go back and just enroll just quality people and just give it to unqualified people. I guarantee you. That, I mean, you look at your back office like, why did I enroll them? On, on that note right there, like, um, when I joined in August, halfway through August pretty much, we was taking off. We was doing the bringing people to the Shaq and Brandon spot like every other day. And basically, I had got 30 people in two weeks. She had got 50 people in three weeks. So we, we hit our ranks first month, basically. Second month, we probably doubled that each. Third month, it was just like a motivation game. We had to keep motivating people to, to stay on it, pretty much. And by January, i say probably only a quarter of the people that made it to September were still on it themselves. We didn't have to keep going to them. They just wanted it they sell. And pretty much, I feel the same way he was just saying, like, I wish I could just get rid of everybody, all the yellows on my team that don't really want it, all the yellows on my team that I got to keep motivating. Mm. I, I, I wish I could just get rid of all of them. You know, but, to motivate, that's to motivate money. people. That's, that's, yeah. that's a job. Yeah. Right. That's yeah, hard work. <laughs> and last month, like, pretty much, um, like I said, all those, you see all those yellows in, yellows in, the, in your back office, you like, it kind of discouraged you, but you still got your own self motivation. But Shaq told me that he had put Isaac on my team in Boston. She took off. She put a she put it on me. I just I just she took off. And the crazy thing is, Isaac is like five people down in my back office. Nobody above him is active except for her, except for Salam. Like everybody else was the people that needed me to keep motivating them. Right. And now they got somebody under them with ten thousand GV. But the, the thing about Hazik and Cabario, they pretty much, they offset me. So it gave me more motivation because now it's like I got to catch them. Right. That's, <laughs> but that's great. Pretty but much, you just got to get a, you gotta get people that you don't got to keep motivated. They should be able to motivate themselves. They just want it better. Yeah, I love what, um, what, 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 um, what you just now said is so powerful, but I know that's a little bit insensitive to people in here that's not quite F3. Because yeah, for it me, it, it, feel, it feels like it's two different IBOs. It's an IBO before F3 and then an IBO after F3. The beauty of this company, like everybody, is that it's dumb simple to get to that 600 a month. <laughs> like, them 12 people you can get in your sleep. If you're not getting them, then it's just something in you. It's just a little small technique thing. Like, Trust me, if you don't understand how to drive and you just keep stomping on the brake, the car is not going to move. It's like how it goes. That's still a functioning vehicle. <laughs> Everything is still working. You just don't know what the hell you're doing, you know? So understand that the 12 people is dumb easy to get. But once you get past that, it's going to take some leadership, right? Because it's all about building your wealth. But I just want everybody to understand that, like, we know that it sounds a little insensitive when we talk about disqualifying people. But... I promise you, it's not just like cliche, it's not just something that sounds good, because I've noticed that now, when one of my team puts me on the phone with somebody, and it kind of being like, like an attention whore and whatnot, I just kind of like, I'd be like, hey, well do your research. It would be a rush if this was a scam. If this was some kind of like scheme, then I would be like, oh, sign up right now, because you know, tomorrow it might hit the newspapers. <laughs> oh, no. But since this is traded on the NASDAQ, since the founder is a billionaire who's built four other billion dollar companies, since the president was a millionaire by 23, I feel like those are mentors for me. I feel like this is the kind of company I can stop with. The other companies are still in business, so what does it become? It just went from a one night stand to an engagement process. And now I'm not too much tripping if you tell me no right now, because you're going to have to tell me no again tomorrow. And again, in like, 
three days. And then I'm going to hear something like Paul Wall join. I'm going to send you that with a smiley face. <laughs> Five days after that, I'm going to be like, you get that raise yet? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then eventually you're going to be like, damn, okay, so what is it again? And then I'm going to be like, oh, man, it's funny. You should ask. So what are you doing right now? You know what I mean? I still don't give them no information. Once they finally start asking, because now it turned into a, from a sales pitch into a job interview. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to ask them all the things I would ask if I was trying to hire them for one of my businesses. I'm going to be like, man, so, so you know, what, what are you out here doing right now? You know what I mean? So that way they open up to me. And then, and then eventually you close it, which, you know what I mean? I'm about to drop videos on the closing process and all of that anyway. But um, the bottom line, y'all, is that it's seduction and it's teamwork. Okay, yeah, and, I, and that's... And, uh, I was going to just go off what he was saying real quick. You know what he said? You know he kept working, right? A lot of people, this is what they do. It's 30 days in the business. Day one to day 25, they do nothing. Day 25 to day 30, they do everything. <laughs> they go hard because they were like, oh, I got to get my three for the end of the month. <laughs> no, if you, if right now, if you just cruise it uh, and then you hit the gas pedal at the end, imagine and you doing, you, you doing, you actually doing something, imagine you do it for all 30 days. All 30 days, gas, pedal, you got, foot on, you got to get a speeding ticket. That's how hard you want to, you want to push on that. People did they wait till last month? And, and the fact that they're this is why I know people crazy mind frame is the fact what drives you is to be free, not financially free, but free in the business. <laughs> you don't want to be fine. You more worried about being free in the business than being financially free. I joined this business because I wanted more time, more people, like-minded people in my life, and more um more money. But y'all are worried about getting more people you don't like in your business. Getting free in the business, so you can go and then, and then still and then just replacing them, so you can keep treating it like a job, having to get three every month because you got the wrong people, and then you forget the whole point you joined because you wanted to become financially free while enjoying benefits. And once you remember remember that, put some right on the wall why you joined, and that's gonna motivate you every day and keep you on track because a lot of people forget they wake up and forget why why they, what they need to do today. You need to get on the ball. You need to get this rolling. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> well, I mean, like I was saying, I try to give my team a product experience off the rip. I put a thunder in their hand. I make them download text by like, you want to get paid for the ride away from this meeting, right? We see you're talking business. You want to get paid on the way home. But the thunder, that's another way to get GB too. Like four cases of thunder gives you a 94 volume. Yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. That's like what. 216, 210, right, with some change. It's powerful. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they don't keep learning. You join, yeah, you did that, you paid 99.95, but now it's time to learn how to operate a business if you never did it before. Y'all know uh, O'Shea, I'll keep using him as him because he's a perfect, he's the perfect sign up, man. This dude signed up, he went through the training, he went through some, 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 um, he went through some personal development, he went through a whole, I, I tell you, yo, go do this, you do it. And, and, and I know for a fact, I don't care if he don't hit F3 this month, I know he's going to stay simply because he's educated enough to know that this is a better vehicle than anything else. Right. Especially starting from the ground floor. So if, if, when you sign somebody up, that's your responsibility. If you, if, you, if you got somebody that's joining you, that trusts you, educate them. That's your job. It's not mine. Don't put me on the phone with them trying to get me to do the same. I did it with you. You remember what happened when you joined. Duplicate it. I know what I'm doing. When I when you join me, you join somebody that was already successful, or you join somebody who got some type of success. Why you joined them? They knew what they were doing. So if they said, "Hey, go do this, go do that," I'm trying to figure out what makes it so difficult for you to do that as well when the, uh, another person joined you. Like, what did I do? I welcomed you to the group. I, I sent you basic training. I told you, "Hey, go check this out. Go look at this. This is going to equip you better. This is going to do that. That's going to do that. Make sure you plug into the group. Make sure you know this information." It just wasn't a 99.95 process and you're done. Because that's what a lot of people do to their teammates that join. Oh, you pay? Oh, we don't. We teammates now. <laughs> like I, I said something. Uh, like I said. Um, when you, you can join the business any day. But when you actually start, it's a different day. Like, for example, um, I got a dude. This, this girl was like, um, when did you join the business? I mean, when did you start? She's like, he was like, yeah, I started in... Um, Started in June, and this was in December. I said, "What rank are you?" Oh, Mr. D1. I said, "No, no, no." I, have to, I said, "No." And he he joined in June. He started yesterday. That's when he started taking it seriously. You don't join a business and think everything's gonna get handed to you. 
You don't join the business and then wait till the end of the month and say, hey, do you have three people for me? And I've never had, you never asked for, you never asked for any help throughout 30 days. The only time I, you hit me up when you need a person because you think you deserve it because you've been trying. How did I forget that you're in the business? There's no way I forget you in the business. Being around us, I love when people be around me if they're being productive. If you're just around, just to be around, you're not doing anything, you're not trying to, you're not money motivated as far as changing your life or changing someone else's life, then you don't need to be around us. <laughs> we, like people just like to be around, hanging out, man, you do that, you're doing it with broke friends. <laughs> we ain't trying to be broke today. We're trying to make money, we're trying to help people make money, and we're trying to enjoy a lifestyle with benefits. Right. And it's that simple. Oh, oh yeah, let me get a question real quick. Right, go ahead, bro. Uh, hey, what's going on? Um, so I had, uh, I got some downline and they was running into some problems um, with, basically, they, they would talk to people and then they would be like, you know, the people didn't want to sign up until they for sure had they agreed to sign up. Now, how would you... How oh, would I got you? that one. I got you. All right, I missed, uh, that's a perfect, I'm glad you guys brought it up. Right now. The best advantage everyone in this room has that's starting brand new that has zero people hey. is leverage. When, me, when I first signed up, my leverage was, you know who I am, I know what I'm going to do, but I don't know what you're going to do, but I know what I'm going to do. And I told Shaquille that, Key Amber that, and one other person that, and I said, you want to be my first three. I'm qualifying you to be my first three because the first three people I get are the first three people I'm helping. So right now, while you're thinking about joining my business, I'm going to get three other qualified people, and when I actually do something, you're going to be able to help people because you want to wait for me to do something. You know what I'm going to do. I know what you're going to do. You don't know what you're going to do because you ain't right now. You're not motivated. But I'm motivated. I know what I'm going to do. So I want to put you. I love you. I trust you. So I want to put you in this position to where you can benefit off my efforts and you can, and you can work with me. All I'm asking you is to work with me. You're not in this business alone. We're going to work together. You're going to be in this position where we build down. And we're going to get this together. Or you can watch me and we can get it later. And you can help the person that I got. Because I loved you, but you wanted to wait until I did something. Right. And I leveraged the same way. You know, it was coincidence. I didn't even realize I was doing it. It was just one of those things. When you do something right, your team duplicated all man. He told me, yo, join. I told him I didn't, I didn't look. I don't know what this thing is because he didn't explain it. This dude had a whack explanation. It's $100. You need $12. you are going to get $600, whatever. You know, they got discounts. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, you my, you my boy. I support you. I joined. He was like, yo, I can put people under my people. All I need is three, so on and so forth. I put people under you. We're going to be in residual. Okay, whatever. $100, nah, it's not going to break. I paid into it. So I thought about it because he explained the important parts to me. I was money motivated just like he was. All right. He said, I, need, he, I needed 12 people. He only need three. And after that, he's going to put three under us. I said, you know what? If he's going to give me 12 people, then if I got my own three and he's still gonna give me 12, that's positioning them to get paid. So I went up to my people, I said, yo, you, her, yo, get on, yo, tech, this is he motivated, we both know him, we both know he's gonna go hard. How much is it? $100, she got on. I called my sister, how much is it? $100, she got on. I called her debt, yo, yo, I'm telling you, you gonna get on so you can pay me back. You know, you got, he had $100, he owed me like 120, it's crazy, but he got on. So it was just one of those things. I got my three people by leveraging. You better get on because, yo, the money train is coming and my first three people going to get here. And that brings... And then, and then I called him with my bag. I called him back. I said, yo, I got three people. Now I think about it. I think he gave me two out of the 12 we promised because I was building it myself. I made the residual in the week because his strategy was so duplicatable. It only made sense for me to start building this now. So with that being said, starting off is not a bad thing. We all started off. And there's one more thing like you could do when they broke and whatnot. Like um or when they <laughs> claim they broke. <laughs> we know everybody got ninety nine dollars. Um, so what uh what what we could do is this thing where we say, um, yo, well our company accepts a commitment before we accept money. <laughs> you yeah, know what right. I mean? And then we say, um, go ahead and do your list. Uh just just go ahead and, and, and sign up as a preferred customer for free and then write me out twenty five that will do it and then twenty five that's like gonna tell you hell no, right? And then they write down them 25 of each with the phone number and their relationship status. Is this your brother, your boyfriend, your uncle, your auntie? Then when they get done, we call them. And then we call them back and say, hey, your uncle wants to sign up. Now he can go in my waiting room or your waiting room. I, I, you know what? I just found 99 on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. And it create, both, all those factors creates urgency right now. It creates urgency. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make people join now and then later because right now they're thinking about it. 
You can think about it, but while you're thinking about it, there's someone else gonna jump. Let them know that, hey, I got people lined up. Be confident with you. I don't need you. Right. I'm helping you out. Because I got people about to 